Hey guys, welcome back to Simple Gardening. Um, I have been curious to see if I can grow an avocado from a cutting, like an avocado plant. I garden in zone 8A and this is an avocado tree that I had purchased uh, because like most of you, I hope that is watching this, love avocado and you want to grow your own. Now garden gardening in zone 8a it's still too cold to plant an avocado outside um, they recommend um, for avocado plant your zone needs to be 9 or above if you want to plant it outside since I'm at 8 um, I do risk the chance that when we do get those cold nights and cold spells it may kill off your plants so that's why I have it in a pot so that it can go indoor when I know it's low. Um, I think it only likes to be in like, it can't get lower than 50 degrees or it'll stress out the plant. But I have two of them. This one over here, it's doing well. And then like you can see it has new, sh new um, growth, new sprouts everywhere. And I think these are almost too young to take any cutting. And then over here, I have another one. This one seems a little bit more um, mature. So I'm hoping by next year, these guys will produce. I'm still getting some new leaves up here. But for the most part, I mean, look, the leaves are way bigger than the other one. The funny thing is, I was going to do an experiment because I got them both at the same time. And they're about both the same maturity. And this one was struggling really badly. So I had watched a video where this guy pee on his plant and see if it had any kind of effect. And normally I don't have two plants of the same variety of the same age, so it's hard to do a comparison. But I was going to try it with avocado and pee on one and not the other. And this was the one I was going to pee on. And I don't know if it didn't like it that I um, threatened it that I threatened to pee on it, it decided to grow. Like it literally sprouted crazy. Whereas this one over here, this is the one that was more luscious, um, healthier, it had more leaves. But since I threatened that one over there, I don't know what happened to it. It must not want to be peed on because it's doing great. Now it's looking better than this one because look at this one, the leaf structure is way smaller. I wish I could pull them closer together so I can compare them, but I don't really want to move them right now in case I'm disrupting the roots because it's been raining so much. The pots is, I don't want to move anything with the pots in case I disturb the roots. But this is the one now is struggling. So maybe if I threaten this one, if I threaten to pee on it, maybe it will produce more I don't know it was kind of weird though because I didn't make any changes to either one of them and other than the fact that I threatened to pee on that one it grew so this one see how I have a branch right here that's coming off and I don't think I want one that's that low and it's actually like growing into this one so I think I'm gonna cut this one off and try to root this one I don't want to waste anything so I'm gonna to try to see if it works if it does great if it doesn't you know I have nothing to lose because I technically do need to um, trim this one back just to make sure it doesn't grow into this branch here this branch looks healthy this one is healthy that one is healthy it's branching off now I've got lots of little shoots coming off right here along with this massive one at the very tip that has a whole bunch of growth so I'll let it grow and see how well it does but I think this one I want to snip off right here it's kind of hard to videotape with my good hand and try to snip with my not good hand so do it as close as you can and then a lot of time people say to buy this thingy that you put a covering it's kind of like a wounded a healing thing for the wound for the plant but I find that plants do well on their own. So, you know, you can always take extra precaution, of course, but I find that they do well, so I just leave it. So I have this little cutting here that I'm gonna try to use and root. Um, see how the bottom, it doesn't look like it's, you know, new growth. It's been there for a while. 
and then the new growth is up here so I'm not really just taking it from the new growth but a little bit mature and then I got a pot already over here and it's been rainy so this is just a um, potting soil but it's got a mixture of um, like um, barks and stuff in there so it's not completely just soil itself I'm going to shed these leaves on the bottom because that's where all the little nodes are that has the higher concentration of hormone and then I think I'm going to leave maybe three three leaves maybe just like that and I could dip it in hormone give it extra help but I find the hormone doesn't seem to work for me as much so most of my stuff I don't really use the hormone I've tried it on like roses and stuff but the roses still rot out it still does the same thing so you push it down in there make sure that those nodes get into the ground kind of gently pat it in so as to make sure that it's not loose and then it's already moist, but I'm just going to use this little bit of rainwater that came and just dabble it in there. This is a simple way of doing it. I don't really have a good setup for everything. And that's all, you guys. Pretty simple. I'm going to put it in here with all my propagation area. And then it now over here, it sits in all shade, but it gets bright sunlight. This is all my propagation stuff over here. So I'm going to leave it here. And if threatening works, I'm going to threaten to pee on this one and maybe it'll grow too. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm definitely going to try it. I mean, who does not want more avocado trees in their lives, right? So I think that's a good thing to propagate. Um, I love my plants for sure. But I've come to realize that, you know, it's nice to also propagate some... Um, tree so this is my guava tree I haven't attempted yet to do it from um, cutting but I have done it with Mayer's lemon and with Mayer's lemon I find that the tip of the um, the tip of the new growth is the best one to use for cutting if you want to try it or attempt it you can do it from seed too but I just do mine from the tip of the plant and then I stick it in the soil just like how I showed you with the um, avocado and they they root really easily this one is being eaten by some kind of bug that loves the leaves so I need to treat it like ASAP I've been telling myself that I was going to treat it but I haven't yet I don't see anything but that doesn't mean that it's not there because you can see the leaves are gone so if it would quit raining I could come and spray it with neem oil but it hasn't and I feel like whatever it is is starting to eat over here too so those guys are doing good so I'm gonna try it with the avocado and then I also have a mango tree which these leaves that I have been stressing one or two of them started falling off so these ones are looking bad and starting to fall off too but the ones on these sides are looking better they're starting to green up which is nice and then these are the top growth so it gives you that yellowish and then it slowly turns green so it's looking really good but I'm also wondering if I can take cutting from the mango and try to see if it'll give me fruit but since this is my first year and I don't want to stress it out by taking too many cuttings I might destroy the plant itself I'm gonna just let it settle in for the first year see how well it do for me next year and then I might do one or two if it has more like over here you can see this one used to have some leaves but it looks like all the leaves have been stripped there's another one it looks like the leaves fell off over here so basically when the leaves fall off it leaves this like little wound right there and eventually this one I think it might be um, fertilizer burn because you know, like all things, you think if you feed it well, it's going to produce for you. But you can have too much of something good and 
this is probably what happened was I gave it too much fertilizer I think so yeah that's it you guys pretty simple pretty easy I'm gonna continue to update you once the cutting um, develop it's basically trial and error I don't know if it'll work or not since it's my first time doing it I know I do have success with the mayor's lemon I also have success when I do cutting from any kind of peppers, green peppers, bell peppers, uh, tomato plants, um, any kind of my basil. Let me show you my Thai basil, which is all along here. I bought one plant and then I rooted a whole bunch and now I just put it along here and it creates an amazing smell. I just did a whole bunch of cuttings from it already and just kind of used some and threw some away because it was like growing like weeds. But, I mean, you guys, it smells so good. You guys remember what Thai basil? Mmm. I wish I could send the smell to you. But you all know what Thai basil smells like. Yum, yum. Anyways, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.